And we are back. Sweet. So... Welcome to the ant caves, an actual labyrinth. Are these ant caves like the ones from from A Bug's Life? Haha, <laughs> no. Aw. <laughs> Wait, what was that? A, a Bug's Life? No. Apparently no. it's such a bad movie I couldn't remember to tell you what it was. You don't remember Bug Life? Nope. That was a good movie. Love the voice acting here. Either the fairies are really that small, or they just got bullied by a fucking ant. <laughs> they f smoke a fuck ton of Newport. <laughs> That's not that colorful mist is just is actually marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> or the smoke coming out of the holes in their throats. <laughs> A public service announcement against the dangers of smoking by the friggin' New Jersey fairies. It kind of looks like a Care Bear mixed with a monkey. Awful. Oh, so it's like Crash 3 when we had that, when <laughs> we had that Firefly. Yeah, except you're not under a time limit. And the cavern gets a lot more colorful because of it. Excuse me. Whoa. There's no, mo there's you can't kill the ants, but since they don't really yield up any child's percentage, only kill them if they get in your way. Except Do they have to actively attack you in order to hurt you, or can they just hurt you by running into them? Uh, let's just go with the uh, ladder for now. This is gonna, this is gonna make me sound really sadistic, but when I was younger, I used to love to torture ants. Yep, that made you sound sadistic, all right. <laughs> no, dare I say psychopathic? Like, they say cruelty to animals or insects is the first sign of a serial killer. <laughs> yeah. It is true, actually. Yeah, and I, I like how you're not even trying to defend yourself. But th this is what I did. I see an ant. Now I would describe the methods of torture I did to the ants. <laughs> like, this is literally first, right. there was the magnifying glass. <laughs> no, I didn't use that method. I didn't use. Then that. there was the oxycodone. I didn't. I don't even know what but, that is. But then I found there was no better method for it than a good old temper. <laughs> this is literally what I did. I step on it, let it walk a little bit, it's limping, just wait, step on it again. How did you not kill an ant with one stomp? And then I injected it with bleach. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and if it was still walking, I would still step on it. How do you then the magnifying glass. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the magnifying glass, isn't it? Oh yeah, I'm frankly rather sad for you that it took you more than one foot stomp to kill an ant. <laughs> You ever you ever put Buzzy you ever put Daddy Long Legs? I was about to say Buzzy Beetle. <laughs> There's that meme again. But did you ever did you ever put Daddy Long Legs in a fire? No. Why would I do that? You can hear it scream. You're awful. Yeah, seriously. It was fuck? a it was a dare. Who dared you to do this? My cousin. I don't want to hear or the that shit. In your head. I don't want to hear this cousin shit. You did it out of morbid curiosity. No, it was no. That's no bullshit. You did it out of morbid curiosity. Yeah. Prick. No, no, here's the thing. More curiosity here's the thing. Prick. He told me that if, if a daddy long way was in a fire, it would scream. I didn't believe it. And I did it. Well, your quote unquote cousin is an asshole. Well, she. Doesn't matter. You could be an, doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl. An asshole is an asshole. Yeah, but it depends on the gender, though. No, it doesn't. No, it don't. I mean, like, if it's a guy, you could say an asshole or a dick. And if it's a girl, what? What, a bitch? No. No, it's a con. But <laughs> asshole is gender neutral. Indeed. Anyway, now let's change topics here from Elliot's. God, Elliot, oh, Jesus. <laughs> He's gonna have Your nightmares. Fairies He's are... having nightmares tonight. I'm having nightmares now, and I'm not even asleep. You you're, have scared me more than this game did, Elliot. You're micro napping. <laughs> this is the way to go to and exit the dungeon or invite the boss. We can't do that because we, well, we could do that, but we haven't found all the fairies, nor have we found all the amber. We have to collect seven pieces of amber. Oh, you guys. Seven pieces of amber, which is a required amount. Or six. Okay. And we have to free all the fairies. fairies nah. The fairies pretty much serve as your chalice. To find all seven fairies, you get a trip to the Hall of Heroes. So, this isn't a complete bust. The one thing I hate about the the ant cave level, though, is that it's actually rather nicely done in terms of what a maze should look like. Ergo, you might get lost here. Wouldn't it be better if you had a map? Yes. This is where the argument of why couldn't they implement this in the game would come into play. 
But arguably, I think it's like two pronged on that one because the thing is, though, is that yeah, you could have a map in this level, but medieval Why? wasn't really medieval levels, with the exception of this one, aren't a hard one to get lost in. Well, I was gonna say more in terms of in-game. Why would you have a map for this place? Right. That's what I'm saying. Well, damn it, they're not watching. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, now I have to think You know, like, one day I think I'm going to go inside that anthill. <laughs> <laughs> I better make a map for it. <laughs> Considering that in, in, in average video games, though, you'll find maps that are weird shit. That wouldn't be that shocking. You know what? This is the one time this game actually applied logic, and it's to our detriment. <laughs> now we have enough amber for the witch, and her problem is solved. Is there more than enough amber to collect? Oh yeah. Okay. What, what was the but witch? The yeah, but you have to. But the fairies are the ones you actually got to go out of your way to find. What was the witch's problem? She wanted amber. For. Fuck if I know. She just wants amber. <laughs> <laughs> what are those anyway? Ants. The white things. Ant larva. You see, Elliot's killed so many ants in his childhood. They all just start to blend <laughs> in after a while. Their lives are no more significant than the next. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere out there, an etymologist is crying. Aren't there, aren't there different types of etymologists? Etymologist is the study of insect. I know that, but I'm just saying. And he made every last one of them cry. <laughs> now, is the scorpion an insect? Is it? Is it? To Wikipedia! Well, not now because we're below the router, so my internet's turned to shit. Six fairies total, you have five. Yeah. I can count. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! It's, I always found it fascinating how ants could actually pick up more than they weigh. You realize that's still, like, not really a whole lot. Which is? Pretty much the size of a fucking potato chip. Which is? I don't know, how much a potato chip weighs? That's not something I give it to memory. Was it like an ounce or something? Probably. Anyway, how much does an ounce of gold weigh? I don't know. <laughs> Our American school system's at work! I don't commit those things into memory for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna love the playback. And on that to fuck one. with you, that would be the final Jeopardy question. <laughs> <laughs> final Jeopardy, final Jeopardy category is weight. And that's the last fairy. What? She shit out of luck. Boulders. Nice <laughs> <laughs> oh, one. Jesus! Time for the Aunt Bukaki. Oh. I remember the ant genocide. <laughs> he was a madman, swirling th th swinging that hammer wildly. <laughs> I live to tell the tale. You live to tell the tale because you're the killer, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the twist of the story. It's told from the killer's perspective. <laughs> There's gonna be a f that'll spawn a fan fiction. I guarantee you. <laughs> so you pretty much got everything you needed to get, and now you're just heading. Back to the Ant Queen. I'm heading toward the Ant Queen, yeah. The only problem is that these levels don't have enough of a labyrinth design. Let me rephrase that. They're too labyrinth. In other words, you can get lost here for days. Well, you can't, but I'm just saying. Uh, no I, I like. noticed because there's All really no. Exactly the same. There's yeah. no really. There's no marker here. There is, unless you can. There is if you're really good at judging what the hell the wall. The difference between a hallway, but honestly. No, so fuck it. Kind of remind me of the ants in Brave Friends and Musashi. Oh god. Well, those are much larger. And somewhat threatening. Motherfucker, am I going in a loop? Oh yeah, another thing when I was younger, I always thought ants would take over the world. What? I don't know why, I always thought ants would take over the world one day. Wait, you're giving me a paradoxical train of thought here. You were afraid ants would take over the world, so this, you kept killing them now? This was when I was young. This was when I was younger. <laughs> they will start a revolution one day, I tell you. I'm doing you a favor. I'll, it will be the cause of the revolution. <laughs> I'll be like friggin' John Connor. Sure. Yo, John Connor was a hero. You're just evil. Yeah. <laughs> You're just a prick. 
Oops. I like how the ant just minded his own business. Like, oh, well, don't mind me. Dick? You're the dick. <laughs> dick, dick, dicks, dicks, dicks. <laughs> but dickity, dick, dick. Enough. Anyway, you say that the map would be weird, but here's a book. <laughs> Apparently, the witch has done this before. Boss battle, and one of the slightly more annoying ones, in my opinion. Now, I recall that during a test playthrough, you didn't really have much trouble with it. That's because I got somehow luckier with the um, ant distribution. Ow. The queen. Damn. Damn. That hurt. Different. Oh, Fortescue felt that in his bones. <laughs> wow, let's take a lot of health. Like, big time. Kill the little ants as soon as they come up because the last thing you need is your. Well, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> you don't want your moment of opportunity squandered. That's your only time to really hit her hard. And if the little ants come out, the fuck the crossbow aimer will get distracted on them. So, is it is the crossbow the the most effective weapon? Spears technically, but then again, those are the strongest ranged weapon in the game, in my opinion. Unfortunately, I haven't paid a visit to Imanzi yet, so. To who? Imanzi Shangama, the one who gives me the, the uh, spears. Ah. Uh. Now, when you say that, do you mean like you'll be fighting this thing again later? No. Okay. We probably just barely passed the halfway point. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, it had a thousand, so yeah. Did that hit me? Are these special types of ants that only the boss summons? No. They're just ants. No, because so, I don't. Because I don't, they seem to have like extra blue decoration around their heads or bodies. Maybe that's an attention. That's a detail to attention I would have missed. The bolt. This is basically an avalanche attack, as I failed to point out earlier. But they'll never hit you. So it's a fail avalanche attack, then. Have a fail. It's probably completely <laughs> unintentional. Yeah, all right. Fuck. And, and we are always asking, why don't you block that? Because my shield's about to go. Yep. Indicated by what? The shield's only giving you 18%. That's yeah, quitter talk for my shields. Not with that attitude. Ellie's gonna try to pep talk a shield. <laughs> <laughs> you can deflect that attack. Yes, you can. And it is dead. You ever read the little engine that could? You are the little engine that could. <laughs> That's some philosophical shit there, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> the most philosophical I'll ever get, just saying. Emmy Award winning Elliot Kensu. No, he's a Pulitzer Prize winner. Pulitzer. <laughs> a Tony? Who gives a shit about this? <laughs> What's a Tony? Exactly. <laughs> Is that a movie reference? <laughs> no, you're thinking of Lord of the Flies. <laughs> Lord of the Ants was the uh, not so successful prequel. Ah. Uh. <laughs> now the amber actually does do something, doesn't do anything, but it gives us a nice little reward. What is it? Chicken. What? The chicken drumstick. That's actually a rather useful item. That is just, that's just crazy. I wasn't feeling that. <laughs> Let me take one more puff of this cigarette. <laughs> this Let's Play brought to you by Marlboro Cigarette. Marlboro. Oops. Wait. This is Marlboro? Did you say Marlboro? Yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Gives Wait. you bad breath. <laughs> Wait. This is, these are Marlboro cigarettes? I want a Newport. <laughs> Who smokes Newport? Everybody. Yep. <laughs> What am I saying? I don't even spoke. I can't make my... Either Newport or Camel. Either one of those two. No, it's Newport or Marlboro. Okay. Anyway, here's our first dick of the Hall of Heroes. First? Yeah. Fortescue, you 
jawless arrow magnet. <laughs> He's got a point. What? Call me Mr. Woden the Mike. Some people would like to write that off as a bad interaction between script. I call that as Woden just completely misunderstanding what the hell Fortescue said. Okay. It's weird how only the head moves. I, yeah. th th yeah, know, it's just there every, a lot of PS1 games like that, except for Crash. Which one? Oh. Yeah, it's like in it's like in Resident Evil where the best motion they could get was waving the arms left, right, up, down, yeah. and flipping them over. <laughs> Place hand on hip. Exactly. And now we get an upgrade to the sword. Oh. This thing does considerable damage on its own, but you can enchant it for even better damage. How so? You'll be seeing that too whenever I go to the scarecrow fields. Zero percent, what does it mean? You can enchant it up to a hundred percent. Oh. And as long as you have it on there, it drains by one percentage every time. When the enchantment runs out, the power weakens. But ultimately, even without the enchantment, it's still pretty damn strong over the small sword. Okay. So regardless, it's still an upgrade. Indeed. How exactly did Forsky lose his jaw? Rot. Yeah. He's he's dead. Yeah, but like I never imagined you would lose your jaw. I mean, you decompose. You decompose, dude. What do you think happens when you're in the tomb? Ah, scarecrow fields. You'll be scared out of your wits if you're a crow. 